Racer TV and today we're joined by one of our returning recruits, uh, Harrison Wigg. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Tubbs. Thanks for having me, mate. Uh, it's great to have you back, mate, and uh, hopefully you've settled in Adelaide pretty well. Obviously, it's been a lot longer in preparation for football, but uh, how's things travelling in Adelaide for you? Yeah, it's good to be back. Um, it's tough when you come back to winter. Um, I'm missing a bit of the Gold Coast sun now, but um, loving being back at home with my mates and my family and being back at North Adelaide with all the boys I used to play junior footy with. Yeah, just touch on your junior footy. You're, you're a star coming right through our junior program, right through the 13s up through to the 18s and a bit of, bit of uh, senior, senior football before you got drafted in the AFL. So, uh, yeah, talk us through that little journey you had and, uh, and uh, yeah, what were your ho- highest moments when you were here? Uh, yeah, so I started here, I think it was under yeah, 12s or 13s. Um, out there with Mulga, he's a scary man, everyone's intimidated of him. And then 14s had you and Chris Ludens, I reckon. Yes. 15s, Nigel Benneke. 16s, Tiller, biggest calves you ever see. Yes. Um, and then did a bit of training with the 18s and was lucky enough to play a couple of twos games um, with it, without my commitments with school footy, which I took over. But yeah, I was lucky to play a bit of school footy, uh, twos footy, I mean. But uh, loved every minute of it. Still got good friendships here with like spins, halves, Craigie. Both Craigs and a couple other boys that have been here for a while, and it's good to be back playing with them. Yep, and obviously you uh, perform well enough to uh, get your name called out at the draft, and you, you know, had five years in the AFL system. Obviously, you know, a lot of a lot of injuries are the, the back end of it, but uh, you know, what are you, what are you experienced from that uh, experience with the AFL? Yeah, it was good life lessons for me, just to, especially for young kids, not to take it for granted, because um, you think I was there for five years and went that quick, and you're looking back now, it's like things you could do back then to make yourself better. Um, ask the coaching more, coaches more questions, probably I didn't do in my first three years. And then when I went to the Suns, I was unlucky. I broke my leg twice and then did my knee, which probably didn't help, mm. help my chances. But um, learned a lot, of, a lot of life lessons about hard work and commitment, especially during rehab and making sure that you're mentally strong enough just to get through. And it's good for good thing I learned. You obviously uh, you head back to Adelaide, mate, and you've uh, your, your partner Erin, who was a Gold Coast girl, has uh, followed you back, and she's playing for the uh, for the Roosters as well in the Sample uh, in the Sample W and doing very well. Um, apparently, the better the better of the two. Can you confirm? Uh, no, I'm going to say no on this one. <laughs> she's a pretty good footballer. She can run, which is good. Um, she asked me a few tips every now and then, but um, I'll keep them pretty close to my chest. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, you're going all right, mate. You're looking good on the track. So. Um, yeah, uh, you know, coming back to Adelaide, coming into the Sandful system again, obviously uh, with the pandemic that's uh, going on, just talk us through kind of getting ready and prepared to play um, a season of football. We obviously got one trial in, then obviously going into lockdown. Uh, how's your preparation been? You know, you know, obviously getting ready to play a game, coming off a couple of years not, not playing at all, and then having to really go through a second pre-season to get up and running again. Yeah, funnily enough, a few boys always... I hear a few boys complain, oh, I'm missing six, six months of no footy. I just say, boys, I've missed two and a half years already. Um, so it doesn't feel too different for me, to be honest. It um, feels pretty normal. Um, but I've actually probably enjoyed it a bit because coming back from my knee, I was probably 12 months when we were going to start playing. So there's probably extra two to three months has probably helped me a bit in that regard. Probably my, my mental side of the game, knowing that I've done 16 months of rehab, um, I'll be fine instead of going back at 11 or 12 and having a bit of a worry, but um, no, I can't wait. I'm so excited to get back out there next week. And uh, yeah, what uh, what position are you earmarked to play, mate? Obviously, you've had a good chat with Serge and working out your, you know, your plan of attack for the season. Uh, where, where do you think you'll start? Uh, oh, I think I'll start in the back line for the start of the year and then see from there if I can get a bit of midfield time. Um, I'll be happy, but if not, I'm more than happy to play half back for the whole year. Yep, and talking about Serge, it's his. Uh, First chance of uh, coaching a senior a senior team. How's he been, and uh, what's he like around the place? Uh, he's been fantastic. I, I remember I told Tubbs probably middle of last year um, that I was going to come back to North if if I got delisted, and I had Serge on, on ringing me every second day saying, "Mate, you're coming, you're coming." I was like, "Mate, relax. You've got me. Stop." <laughs> <laughs> he's he's a good man though. He's uh, easily I never really met him. I come back and it was easy to get along with. Um, so I've made a good relationship with him and we've got a good band. I can give him a bit of stick and he gives me a bit of stick and there's no issues at the end of the day. Yeah. And just talking about your teammates, obviously you said you're close with a fair few of them from your junior days. And uh, yeah, who, Who's your favourite? And have you got any uh, anyone you want to throw under the bus, mate? Here's your chance. Well, oh, open. <laughs> and that, great, and that, great. that was Greg Edwards <laughs> just walking past. Um, oh, my favourite. I, you, we grew up playing with Cannon Ramsey and we, have a, we had a bit of a laugh that we played state footy together and we, we loved being back playing with each other so he's probably my favourite but he's probably also the biggest pest because 
every time I'm training, I just hear him yelling from a mile away, and it's just like, you should not work hard enough if you can still yell out, mate. Yeah. So he's uh, he's been a good bit back, but he's a bit of a pest. Yeah, and just finally, mate, just on the on the on the current list, obviously, uh, you've come back. There's been a lot of other guys that have uh, rejoined the club from the AFL, which have been fortunate that uh, all the delisted guys wanted to come back, which is fantastic for the club. And obviously, we've topped up with you know, Andrew Moore, Billy Hartung, Sammy, Sammy Davis, and Elliot Chalmers. Um, how's it how's it looking out there? No, it's looking fantastic. The list looks unreal. Um, probably the best sample list I've seen. For a long time, which gives it should give us real good confidence going into the year, uh, to make sure if everyone does their team team thing on the day, then we should be pretty hard to beat this year. So as we uh, as we will uh, head forward into our round one clash against West Adelaide on Sunday the 28th, uh, we look forward to seeing all you Rooster supporters out there in your red and white. Hopefully, um, when the uh, restrictions get lifted, hopefully in time for round one. If not, it'll definitely be soon after that, and we can see Harrison get back to playing his best football and. Uh, Kicking a few big darts from half back and hopefully big through the big uh, sticks that's up forward, mate. Plan, so mate. Uh, thanks for joining us, mate. Thanks, and I look forward to seeing you having a kick again. Thanks, mate.